Okay, um, setting everything for explaining this in a better way, my dear students, I just wanted to clarify the group work for today, just in the case there were some students who could, couldn't actually do it. This is going to help you out for understanding this in a better way and practicing at home. Okay, I just wanted to think about, um, first of all, read the exercise, right? And by taking care for specifically the solutions that are mentioned, you have this substance and this substance, something very important. Uh, 120 milliliters of this molar solution is mixed with 75 milliliters of this molar solution. What is the concentration of each ion in the solution? So since it says it's mixed, so there's a, a, a key word there to, for understanding that you, you are going to set is like you have two containers. Let's pretend we've got container one, which contains the specifically uh, potassium sulfate, right? The potassium sulfate, just going to minimize this letter there, right? The potassium sulfate. And let's pretend we have another container containing this uh, aluminum nitrate and uh, we, we've got that one there, okay? So both of them are going to be mixed in one single container, right? Both of them are going to be mixed, but specifically you have for this one, 120 milliliters. And in the other case, you have 0. Uh, well, to be precise, 75 milliliters, that in the first place. So if you mix this two, definitely you're going to get something very important, which is a bigger container, containing now a, uh, a new volume. So if you add the two volumes, definitely you're going to have, uh, to have 195 milliliters, which is the same uh, than saying, 0 0.195 liters, that in the first place. And this volume is going to help you out on the end. Uh, also, if you add this uh, to solutions or to substances, something important that is being said is that the molarity is 0 0.50 in the first, the first place, molar, meaning moles per liter, and in the other case is 0 0.25 uh, moles per liter. Being said so, something very important to take into account. Once I add all of this into one single solution, definitely I, I am going to have a mixture of all of the solutions. So a mixture of all of the ions to be precise. So K2SO4 is going to separate in what? Potassium, right, to be precise, plus another potassium, potassium positive ion, right? You have potassium positive ions, right? You have also another potassium positive ion because it says there are two potassium positive ions. You're going to have one sulfate ion, right? And definitely the charge is two minus according to the chart I gave you. And also you're going to find uh, aluminum, right? And the charge for aluminum is three positive. And also you're going to have three nitrates to be precise. Three nitrates because it says there are three. One and O3, another, another and O3, and another and O3, right? Minus, and all of those with the charge of one minus if you do the inverse work on and so on, so on. So that's the, the final way you're going to obtain this solution to be precise, the final volume and so on. So what we need to know, because it says the question, what is the concentration of each ion in the solution? If you want to know the, the molar concentration in, in, of each ion, then you need to know what is specifically the number of moles of each ion, because you know the final volume and by definition molarity is moles over liter. So we have to get there specifically. Okay, let's get to this one. I want to use the blue color for the first one. Let's see. Okay, I have 0. Uh, 120 milliliters, 0. 0.12 liters, right? And I use the conversion factor. I use 0. 0.12 liters, knowing that, because the molarity says that in one liter, there are 0. 0.5 moles of K2SO4. So you use that conversion, right? You pass it out and so on, so on, so on. 
and then you just apply those values, use your calculator, and you're going to find that 0 0.12 times 0 0.5 equals 0 0.06, 0 0.06 moles of K2SO4. Yeah, I'm going to use another color so you see it. The same thing you do for the other one. Um, 0 0.075 liters, since I know, right? I know the same thing, the same reasoning for the first one. I know that in one liter for the second solution, there is 0 0.25 moles of aluminum nitrate. So you apply the same reasoning and you will get the right. 0 0.075 times 0 0.25, and you have 0 0.8, 0 0.018, 25, I want to live with those decimals, no problem, moles of aluminum nitrate. Great, and you're done. Once you have those number of moles, those are going to help me out to calculate specifically the number of moles of each ion. How come? Because you're going to put there, you're going to write the K2 is O4. You're going to separate it in ions as we did before. Right? So let me to put this as a subscript. So you see it in a better way, it looks nicer. And um, let's separate it into ions. So I can see that this is going to be, if I drop it into the water, it's going to separate into ion, potassium is a positive ion plus a, a sulfate ion, right? A sulfate ion there. If you check the chart, it's got one positive, or if you do the inverse of prison cross, the inverse of prison cross process, you know that potassium has a charge of one positive, as so for a charge of two minus, but also if you balance the equation, you're going to see that there's two potassiums in there, so that's why. I, as you can see in the final substance, in the final solution. The same thing <clears throat> you're supposed to do for <clears throat> the aluminum nitrate, right? You separate it, you separate it into the ions, right? You create that, you create that, and that will make it. So the same thing, if you drop it into the water, uh, actually the, it was in a solution, so it's aluminum, and you know the charge for aluminum is three positive, and all of that plus and nitrate, the nitrate ion. The nitrate ion is specifically um, the charge is one minus, according to the chart. And you are counting for those ions, there's three, so you put a three there, and that will make it. And here comes the analysis, because let's get back to the question. What is the concentration of each ion in the final solution? So those equations have been set for one mole, but I don't have one mole of the substance. I have 0 0.06 in the first case and 0 0.018 in the second case. So basically your reasoning has to go in the following. So let's separate this a little bit, right? I'm just gonna separate this there and let's write that. If one mole, gives me two moles of potassium and one mole of sulfate, then I am going to write this other reasoning. 0 0.06 moles of this is going to give me two times 0 0.06, that plus a 0 0.06 to be precise. Moles plus exactly 0 0.06 moles. The same thing for the other one, the same thing. It says 0 0.018, 0 0.018 moles of that one. So if I separate it, it's going to give me 0 0.018 moles of that one plus moles plus three, three times 0 0.018. That is something very important for you to remember whenever you're separating this into ions. Now you're ready because you have the number of moles for each one. So it's been set. The question is, what is the molarity of ions? What is the molarity of final 
of each ion in the final solution. So you have, you know, the number of moles. And by definition, you will have to divide each number of moles of ions to the final volume, which was 0 0.195. So let's do this for potassium. So potassium ions, what is the molarity? That's equals to two times 0, that's 0 0.12 right moles right for uh, sulfate ions SO4 SO4 ions there's what is the, the, the number of moles it's 0 0.06 the same thing for the other one aluminum ions which is three positive what is the number of moles? It says it's 0 0.018 moles. And what is for the nitrate ions? Right, the nitrate ion one minus, yeah, that is specifically, right? Um, three times 0 0.018, 75 times three, it is, 0 0.056 moles, right? And once you know that, now you can actually apply the definition for concentration, which is what we were looking for, uh, the molarity for each one. Since you know that each one is supposed to be divided, each number of moles is going to be divided to uh, the, 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 the final volume, right? So for this one, then I am going to do exactly that. It's going to divide, divide that to what? 0 0.195 liters because molarity is moles per liter. And you do that. I'm going to copy this. And each one I divide, divide it to this, divide it to this and divided to this. So at the end, the final molarity, which was the question in the first place, and to be that you divide 0 0.12 divided to 0 0.195, it is 0 0.61. I always try to give it with three or four decimals, which is better. 54 molar or moles per liter. If you want to give it, I prefer moles over liter. No problem. If you want to leave it molar, it's still okay. And I will make it 0 0.06 divided to 0 0.195 is 0.37 moles over liter. The other one is going to be. 0.018 divided to 0 0.195, 0 0.018, 0 0.0923 moles over liter, and the other one, the same thing, 0.0. 25, and that was it, 0 0.28, 28, 0 0.2872 moles over liter. And that was it. Okay, I hope you understood this in a better way. Um, and you have it like sorted out. And in, as always, just remember to read the exercise carefully and that will make it. And that's it. Thank you kids. Thanks for your attention. And oh.